Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube and I use spirit, my intuition, the tarot to communicate energies to you guys. Amazing, beautiful viewers. I'm so, so thrilled to be here today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I am so, so glad that you found me. Hopefully these messages resonate for you. And if you are returning, I'm so blessed and so grateful to be doing your reading today. And I cannot wait to get into this reading. So hopefully um, this reading isn't too long. I, I realize I, I do post a lot of videos and they're very long. So I'm going to try to keep it very sort of short if I can, although we will have to tap into your energy to make sure that the pile resonates before we get into the message in regards to whether the person on your mind will be coming back. Okay, will they come back? Will there be a reconciliation? Will this person um, come forward? So look at these four options. This is a pick a card reading, or I guess pick a pile, and you will use your intuition to whichever pile is calling to you. If you are drawn to multiple piles, there could certainly be specific messaging in each pile that spirit is wanting to communicate. So that's absolutely fine to be drawn to all four, a few, none, and that's certainly up to you. All right. So the energy check at the beginning should be guidance in regards to whether the pile resonates and sometimes energy is crisscrossed so if i say it's you and it's your person or i say it's your person and it sounds like your energy then you can certainly crisscross the roles the pile could certainly still be for you it's just that the energy is coming through reversed which is very common here okay so four options to choose from i don't know if i said three there's four I will leave the video running for a bit. The timestamp will be in the description box and in the pinned comment below. It will take you directly to your pick and I will see you there. Hello, gorgeous angels. Pile number one. You guys picked this beautiful birdie right here. So we're taking a look at the person on your mind and whether this person will be back. We'll be using the pulp tarot for your reading. You guys are all very safe and welcome here in this space with me today. And let us do an energy check just to see if this is your pile. So this is how you would describe the connection to me, either from the start or as it cur currently stands, okay? I don't know what sort of energy is going to pull through, but it should resonate with your connection. And like I mentioned in the intro, sometimes the energy comes reversed. So if I say it's your energy and it's your person's, you can switch the energy. But the messaging is still going to remain in regards to the connection and whether or not the, there will be a reconciliation if this person's coming back. Now, obviously, a reconciliation will be your own sort of decision if you want to accept this person back or not. But we will see if this person will return. Okay, so spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile one. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile one. How would pile one describe this connection to me? So we have nine pentacles, we have the empress in reverse, we have two wands, and we have the five of cups in reverse. So we have Taurus energy could be prominent in your chart or your person's chart and hermit Virgo energy in reverse and we have the five of swords in reverse I am going to pull some oracles as well how would pile one describe this connection to me we have forgiving heart 36 or the number nine it says don't let the past imprison you in the present and we have at the bottom of the deck ten of pentacles i don't read bottom of the deck reverse okay i will pull three more oracle cards here so i can get a a good picture of what's going on here in this connection how would pile one describe this connection to me humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life okay And we have expression falling out, number 19 or 10. The frequency of expression supports our ability to bring out our true essence through many different forms of communication. 
and one of these. Frustration, and I do have this one calling out to reflection. Okay, let me sit with this energy just a little bit here, okay? You can feel free to skip ahead if this takes too long for you, but I need to make sure that I have this, and then let's see if this is your pile. Under the Ten of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords in reverse, which is <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. So I feel like this is explaining about current state to me of this connection. I feel like there's obviously a history with this person, obviously, or else you wouldn't be asking if they'd come back. So you've been with this person, or at least there was an understanding of a connection with this person, okay? But I feel like um, you're working on being independent of this person, single of this person, because I do feel like this person could have certainly disappointed you and it feels to me like you might have given this person another chance in the past or possibly many chances. I feel like this person disappointed you, like you were potentially giving them another try or another opportunity in the past. And I, I feel like this person disappointed you, but I feel like um, it almost feels to me here like you expected it in some way because I feel like this past experience that you had with this person didn't leave you devastated it didn't leave you uh, feeling maybe as upset as you once were um, you know or as hurt but I feel like there is a level of frustration here because I do feel as though you've allowed yourself to accept this person you know so I, I do feel like um you're not as um, connected in a way that uh, makes you feel like this person was calling the shots or that your happiness relies on this person or that they're controlling your emotions in some way. I feel like you feel a little bit free or liberated in your energy here. And I, I feel like at one point, potentially, you did not you felt like maybe you know this person the way that they would treat you or the way that they would show up uh, was a reflection of your own sort of value so if this person didn't treat you right or didn't sort of appreciate you in a way that reflected your self-worth it left you feeling quite disappointed you know and not very happy so i feel like there's um really really understanding that you have value that you have something to work towards to build yourself up and that you are beautiful and valuable and strong and independent okay uh, aside from whether this person is showing up or not and i feel like this is a long time coming because i don't feel like you were in this mindset for a very long time and i do feel like you might have um like i said have had to learn the hard way here and could have been quite uh, devastating at some point you know but I do feel like this person might just be in an energy of sabotaging the connection and this is how you've known them to be and so I feel like you had to make a decision to move forward uh, I think away from this connection so for a lot of you guys I do feel like you might have ended things but it's almost like this person is the one who made their bed and you had no choice but to walk away or choose different because I do feel like this person was in five swords. They were sabotaging, they were causing issues or they weren't, I, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe making you feel secure about the future, you know, that there would be a long-term sort of commitment or plans for the future to build with this person. So they're up in the air. You had no idea what your stability would look like and so you're trying to become stable on your own so that you can find a happy ten of pentacles for yourself yeah because i feel like this person did not have a plan for the future 
or at least they weren't communicating to you or taking action on what their intentions were for long term or commitment or planning something here. And I feel like you wanted an understanding. You wanted to be on the same page. You wanted this person to communicate whether this was serious to this person or what this connection was in some way here. Okay. Like I feel like there was a lack of them showing up in action and maybe their words didn't match their actions. Like maybe they were all talk and no action, or maybe they didn't communicate at all. But I feel like either way there was you feeling like there was no certainty about the future or no like this person had no understanding of what it was that they wanted for the future or for commitment or plans here for you so i do feel like you had a choice to just leave here and and you've been disappointed in the past so you didn't want to sort of repeat any cycle or stay in, a, in an energy that would just be disappointing you know especially if this last thing with this person was again five swords in some way that just you know sealed put the nails in the coffin so to speak so i do feel like i mean you do carry hurts and experience but i feel like you're definitely on the mend it's definitely not as impactful as it has been in the past with your emotions and um and now you want to see whether this person is intending on coming back to you and i would imagine you're probably wanting to know if this person has come out of their self-sabotage ways or if they now have an idea of what they want or if they're going to be more communicative in regards to what this connection is or what it could be in the future because i feel like if this person was to get themselves together you know and actually put their money where their mouth is or proof in the pudding i think maybe you would consider a future with this person but if this person isn't stepping up to the plate, making you feel like there is no value in you and them coming together and building something for the long term, then why would you stick around here? Because I think you've contemplated long enough in regards to what it is you want. And so I feel like it's taken you a while to learn about your own boundaries. And I think you learned the hard way here. Okay, so we're going to take a look at whether this person's going to be back if you resonate with this energy check. And um, yeah, and see what spirit wants to communicate here in regards to this person. So, spirits, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of amazing pile one. The person on their minds, will they come back? And if they do come back, <clears throat> what sort of energy will they be in? Will pile one's person come back? Will they want a reconciliation? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful Pile One spirits. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good. As we're together of Pile Number One. Thank you so much, Spirit, for this blessed message. For the highest good of this connection and Pile One spirit, please help me to channel this message. All right, so bottom of the deck energy, we have four wands, wowzers, four wands. That is the marriage, union, coming together, stability, security, commitment, celebration. It's, um, it's also my 1111 card, which is the twin flames, okay? So some of you guys might be resonating with twin flame label. I know not all of you guys. So spirits with this four of wands. Please, can we get more information in regards to what is this all about? Will Pile One's person come back? Will we be back? Okie dokie. So we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. We have sensuality, 36. Or the number 9, the frequency of sensuality reminds us that as spirits in human bodies, we are sensual beings. Experiencing joy and pleasure from the physical world through our senses. And we have Reflection, 33. That was interesting because you guys had it in the um, this Oracle pack here, uh, the Prism Oracle. And then you guys had Reflection with the two circles that was sitting right here. So there's mirroring going on, which is very indicative of a twin flame sort of thing. I mean, obviously, relationships always reflect back to us. But I feel like there is um, mirroring, heavy mirroring here in this connection. The energy of Reflection supports our growth through the insights we get from the contemplations of, and of self and others okay and we have seven curious hearts embark on the great adventure and we have cleanse 
and we have confidence. I am getting a lot of you guys, your person does feel like um like an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person, how oh, you can resonate as well, might be quite um detached, I feel, a little cold, you know, not very um gushy or emotional, maybe has a very hard time um expressing their emotions, so they're more mind over heart, I feel. Uh very intellectual. Um yeah, okay, but let's let's see what's happened to this energy. So under the Four of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Wheel of Fortune's Jupiter energy, Sagittarius Pisces. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. My goodness. Okay, so we have High Priestess in reverse, Pisces energy. We have Three of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow, King and Queen of Wands, divine counterparts. Okay, this this could be, again, this reflection we're getting. You guys are pretty much cut from the same cloth here. Six Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, Taurus energy. Wowzers. This is interesting. I might have to... Um, get some clarifiers here but let's start peeling the layers back so i feel your person's energy coming through as someone who is going to want to move out of any energies that this current state is in okay and from the early energy check-in that i did i, I would imagine you're stepping into your power and as you step into your power and your energy sort of pulls away from this person i do sense like this person is sensing this okay but i feel like your person has like some sort of um panic in regards to not knowing whether you would accept them back here if they come forward with a reconciliation and i do feel this comes very strong from the card i was getting there with your um or just the energy i was getting there with you already giving them a chance you know they've already kind of shit the bed as far as you're concerned because you've given them chance after chance so it's almost like this energy that i'm really feeling here is like geez i don't know you know like how many times am i gonna try have to try to make it work with pile one or like tell them to give me a chance or or say that i want to make it work and then not to do it you know so there's an energy of not knowing whether you would accept this person back you know, whether you're interested in them or whether you're wanting to even give them another shot here. So I feel like their confidence is shot currently, okay? This is more passing existing sort of energy, but I see as well this person is working on reflecting about their current state so that they could build up some confidence here because I feel like this person does want reconciliation and does want to come forward. And if it were up to them, I really feel this person would already be coming forward, but they feel as though you're not interested or they don't know for sure. So I feel like this person has um, an ego on them that is not allowing them to take action unless they were confident that you would take them back because I feel like this person doesn't want to come forward if they have any chance of you saying no or turning them down. Okay. So I feel like this is what's holding them back right now. It's like, I don't know for sure. In fact, I think pile one probably would not take me back, but I don't know for sure. And since I don't know for sure, I'm kind of hanging back here. Okay. But uh, I feel like the overall energy of wanting to get out of the five swords energy that they've been in is predominant here and that they're working on releasing what they need to, to do this. Now, I feel as though this person with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse in this Hierophant, there hasn't been any sort of real work in regards to what it is they need to put into to get um, an understanding of what it is that they want and value for the long term, what they want to commit to here, because I feel like this was the problem, you know? And so if this was part of the problem, because this person was five swords and their five swords could have been the self-sabotage in regards to them not giving you any direction or communicating about their intention about the future or commitment you know or what it is that they want for this connection and so i feel like there's still this reversal here because there would need to be a lot of energy and and work towards 
what is it that they want? You know, what do they value? And do they want to commit? And is this something that you, you know, that they're going to take serious? Or are they just taking this co connection lightly? Because we had the humor card in your pile. So I feel like this person was either keeping things really light, keeping it superficial, not letting you in, you know, and it seems like, is this something of greater value to them? Or is this just something that they're just kind of doing on the side here? And I feel like with this deck specifically, this four wands, like look at this four wands, there's all these girls, okay, and then there's sensuality. So I don't know if your person is a, is a ladies man per se, or if this is your concern with this person and with this sensuality is that this person, I don't know, might have like a wandering eye or something or leave the back door open or this is why they don't want to commit because they have all these options, you know maybe they're very social and they have a lot of people sort of in their, in their life here especially with this embark on a great adventure this curious heart it's like there's all these other options or potentials that they could explore in some way okay but i feel as though spirit is really saying that this could certainly be your perception of why it is that you are very fixated on this person sort of i don't know like committing or giving you um some sort of understanding about where this is headed because i don't know that you necessarily trust that your person wants to just be monogamous or solo with you you know um because maybe there's a lot of other people sort of getting in the way here of this person so i'm going to peel back on that because I don't necessarily feel as though your person is the type of person that is like this, okay? And so this might be a disconnect here, but I do feel as though this person wants to come out of five swords and wants a reconciliation because I feel like they're very passionately with this King Wands um, pulled towards your energy, like physically, like they want to connect with you and feel you, okay, on a sort of a sexual and physical level here, and if it's not sexual, then it's like this intimacy that they feel from you, okay, and they're very attracted to you with the Queen of Wands, and so this is the driver here, but I feel you're wanting more of this more practical commitment type energy here, so I feel like there is some stress, you know, in regards to this person thinking, well, I feel this very strongly. I want to connect. Pile one is my person, you know, like they definitely see you as their counterpart here. And I feel you saw this person as your counterpart. You know, you guys are, um, are really sort of similar when it comes to how you guys relate and connect. And so I feel like you guys have two different sort of drivers here in regards to why you'd want to come together and make things work. Okay, so I feel like there is still going to be this thing that needs to be overcome. Now, Wheel of Fortune means things moving forward, you know, things moving forward, taking a turn for the better. And like I said, Four Wands is coming together. It's the celebration here. So let's take a look because I'm going to dive in a little deeper in regards to, you know, um this whole energy here with this four wands and this person they're working on their confidence to be able to just step forward with reconciliation here so i think they're trying to gauge your energy like is pile one you know still mad and here's the king of swords in reverse there's the ten of cups in reverse spirit can we get a deeper layer in regards to pile one and this four wands and whether pile one's person will be coming back here and we have six wands in reverse. Yeah, that is the ego. Not wanting to, to lose, you know, not wanting to find out that you're not interested. And so sometimes we don't even take the chance unless we know confidently that the other person is going to accept us back. So I feel like there's this uncertainty about whether you're willing to take them back. So we have temperance and then we have seven wands in reverse the sagittarius energy and then king of swords again like i said was gemini leave aquarius okie dokie so bottom of the deck three swords this is being separated from the ones we love okay heartache heartbreak someone's words actions intentions has caused us a lot of pain 
We have Ace of Cups, Emotional New Beginning, and we have Ten of Wands in Reverse, and we have the Eight of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so this person, they are reflective here of this King of Swords in Reverse, and I feel this is the problem, like I said. Somebody here who wasn't acting, you know, taking action, and keeping things potentially vague, maybe uncertain about, like I said, future things, and there being a potential of a Ten of Cups, which is an ultimate fulfillment to people coming together to have a happily ever after, and the potential not being realized because this person wasn't taking action or communicating. I feel like this is the burden here in this connection, and it was just too much to carry. I feel it was too much for you to carry, and now it's too much for this person to stay in that energy. They can't no more. Ten of Wands. The straw broke the camel's back here, okay? So I feel like this person understands this is why things didn't work out okay and they're going to come to this sort of conclusion things didn't work out because of this energy and if i want to reconcile with pile one i have to resolve this energy i have to find balance i have to find a way here to alchemize my energy so that i come in balance and i could be in an energy here that is workable with pile one but right now i feel like if i were to approach pile one i wouldn't i wouldn't win i'd lose because Pile one is still mad at me about me letting them down, about being five swords, about me not being clear. And since I don't have this right now and I'm not quite sure or certain or in this energy, I have to work on this. Okay, but I don't know how. And I feel like I haven't done this. I feel like it's it's almost too much for me, okay? Because this is like giving up and in the face of adversity. And this is pretty much giving up as well. Because this is too much. So I feel like this person feels it's too much for them to... I don't know, figure out how to come in balance here and, and, and get into this energy, okay? But I feel like this is causing a lot of pain and heartache, and I don't feel this person wants to sit in the three swords here. So this is what they have to reconcile right now, and this is pretty much as far as what we're able to see here. And so now we have this, which is unable to walk away from what doesn't emotionally fulfill and a new beginning, which, again, is this two energies. It's like... If they want a new beginning, they have to do the temperance work, the healing, and balance out this energy. Or they can choose to stay in what emotionally is causing them pain, which is sitting in uncertainty and not, you know, not fulfilling this Ten Cups. But then they won't be successful with you and they won't be able to have this connection. So this is their option here, you know, with the two wands. It's like it's their choice. Do they want a new emotional beginning? Or do they want to remain in an, in an energy here that's emotionally unfulfilling and causing them a lot of pain? So, two cups. Yeah, it's like the only way they'll get out of three swords is to find the balance with the um, temperance in this two cups. This is harmony, seeing eye to eye, two people coming together to equally sort of contribute to a connection here. So... Do I feel like your person's coming back? I do feel like your person's going to come back, okay? But I feel like right now, this is on the forefront here, and they can't come forward until they resolve this sort of energy. So there's only a matter of time that they could sit in three sorts and do the healing work here so they could build up their confidence here so that they can choose a new beginning. Because I feel like this person wants to have, obviously, love in their life and have a new beginning here with them, okay? Now, nothing came through here of the four... Uh, wands and um, you know what what sort of was giving you worry in regards to this person you know maybe being I don't know if you feel this person a player or just wanting to date around or not to be serious so let's let's ask specifically can we get some more on that four wands what does pile number one need to know about a future commitment or pile one's person when it comes to you know not committing or leaving the door open or choosing other connections or other people here what does pile one need to know okay judgment yes so i feel like you're because we keep seeing that the mirroring the projection with the reflection i call it projection because the reflection is how we see the other person can only be through our eyes can only be through our experience okay and so when we do this we are in judgment Okay, and I mean, everything is, is a judgment of, um, you know, our own sort of experience because we can't see it through anyone else's eyes but ours. But I feel like there is judgment being projected here in regards to how you're seeing this connection. Okay, I make no judgment. So we see two swords here. So it's like, 
This is the crossroads, the stalemate, can't move past this. But this is also sometimes the card of not seeing clearly. Okay, and so I feel like Spirit is saying we're not seeing everything. And we might be very much seeing something that doesn't allow us to move forward, that we're fixated on, that we need to gain a better sort of overall understanding that might go outside of our experience and our perception. Because I feel like we might be causing undue worry to self. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm trying to tell you if you don't, you know, you don't want this person because you need them to commit to so that's fine. Okay, but we need to know what it's driven, what our intentions are here. Okay, so we might have just this need for reassurance because of our experience here. And so it's, it's making us feel anxious. And so if this person is the type of person that is confident and doesn't need so much reassurance here, you know, and, and they, they have their own traumas here that they need to understand why it is that they can't commit, and then they need to reflect on that. But I feel like this is very indicative of sort of a twin flame thing. It's like there's trauma on your end in regards to needing that security or whatever that that um, future solidified thing needs to be buttoned down completely in order for you to feel like you can take action. Okay, but Spirit is saying like sometimes we project into the future and sometimes it makes sense for us to see as things unfold and be in the present moment. Okay, not to be a fool, obviously, if this person is, you know, not respecting you and being a player and it doesn't reflect value to you, then yes, of course, you don't want to stick around there. But if this person hasn't given you any reason not to trust them, and they have issues in regards to commitment because they've seen potentially their parents go through divorce or they are just avoidant here of, you know, that sort of feeling suffocated maybe by something that goes out 20 years into the future or whatever. Then this is something they also need to work on. Okay, now that's why we had temperance in the middle because there's a middle ground. There's a needing to come together in some way and I feel like one person's in one understanding one's in another and we're really like fixated there in our point and so we can't find a middle ground and then there's no movement and things don't don't happen so this is the judgment we have to sit in judgment and really be like the observer here and see both sides okay so what do we have king of wands in reverse I don't feel like your your person is a big player okay I don't feel like they're this big suave ladies man type person i feel like this person doesn't have a whole lot of confidence if i got to be honest okay and i feel like there is an ego about being rejected there's an ego about you know them not attaining you in this connection and so i feel like they're trying to build their confidence they're trying to heal through this but i don't feel as though your person is somebody here who is going to be i don't know like who's used to just getting all the ladies, okay? I, I feel like this is you projecting and, and maybe a fear that you have here. Six swords, they want to come out of any energy of feeling like they, they lack confidence here. They're, they feel incapable of doing what it is that you feel you need from them. And I feel you want a ten pentacles. You want a hierophant. Some of you guys want a marriage. Some of you guys want a family. You know, and if this is what you want and you're convicted with that, then that's okay as long as you know that it's, coming from your authentic self and not just this preconceived sort of judgments that you're making here hangman so yeah this is like this is where they're at it's like they need to sit with this greater truth and really sit with spirits to gain a, a different perspective here and i feel you are also needing to do this as well in order for you guys to come out of five swords because i don't feel either of you guys want to be in five swords okay um there needs to be really looking from all perspective because the hangman is uh, an elevated perspective where we can see the other person's point of view we see our own and then we come like a like a um unbiased judge of seeing what's going on so that we can make a fair decision but i feel like you are sort of pigeonholed in what you want and what you are traditionally seeing and i feel like this person is also there and so then we have the two sorts Okay, so you could do what you want, but I'm just show, to, uh, sharing with you and telling you what's coming through the cards here. Okay, so I feel like your person is working on trying to get out of a Five Swords because I feel like they know that there's something not right about them, you know, not really wanting to um, give you any sort of clarity here. But I also feel as though 
this person isn't traditional with the with the hierophant in reverse they don't they don't want to be like everyone else and say yeah you know you have to have family friends get married um by this age and and that's your life you know this person might be sort of a more sporadic type person more like a um a free energy here okay especially with this fire energy and the curious heart and then we have 10 pentacles yeah it's about it's about the long-term stability of this connection and i feel like you want the family the long term you know you want the full 10 and maybe you want the full 10 prematurely i don't know you know like this is something to consider do you want a 10 pentacles right now from someone who is still maybe needing to do work on self and heal certain parts of themselves you know so i feel like there needs to be um both of you guys sort of reflecting sitting here and really looking at self and being very honest you know and maybe there's a way for you guys to find a middle ground here but i feel like this is what you guys need to contemplate because until there's movement we're going to repeat sort of cycles and be disappointed and i feel we're causing undue worry by carrying a belief that things have to be in a certain way in order for me to be happy instead of saying hey maybe this person is trauma maybe in time you know we can learn to figure out how to find stability here but it might make this person feel like they're too imprisoned you know if i make them give me their 20 30 year plan here okay but at the same time it's like if this person just wants the booty call or just wants to come in and you're not of that you know then then of course this isn't your thing but i don't feel this this isn't giving me booty call this is giving me that this person feels a deep connection here with you and and maybe it's very in their shadow as to why it is that they behave the way they do you know that they cannot see past where wherever they are and so there's fear in expression so i do feel though this reading is not done i feel there's a little bit more i know i promised a short reading but let's just see spirit for pile one what does pile one need to know about this connection then why are we seeing this message this kind of took a little bit of a turn why are we seeing this message it's almost like spirit wanting to give you guidance right here in this connection so things don't get stuck here you know and i do feel this person has disappointed you but i do feel as as well that we don't need to be in worry and disappointment here if we sort of understand that i don't know if we gain a better more objective sort of view okay wow so spirit has a lot to say to you pile one we have eight wands in reverse so this is you know things not moving forward lack of communication needing a breakthrough in order to get going to be victorious eight of cups sticking around unemotional satisfying situations here an inability to move forward from where we're where we're stuck okay and trauma sometimes keeps us stuck that's what i feel it's like a, a trauma to a, a belief and a mindset with the hierophant in reverse and the hangman is saying we need to understand our own traumas we need to reflect this is maybe why we came together we're both mirroring back to each other our pains from the past we really need to sit and ask ourselves and do the hermit work why hermit was also in reverse when we did your energy check because there's more reflection we need to do there's more of a deeper dive in our subconscious we need to look at why it is our intention of what it is that we want and why it is that we want it okay knight of wands in reverse so this is hot and cold energy this is player energy when it comes to love readings the knight of wands fizzles out love bombs and sometimes has no game plan and hurts you know hurts people because they just get what they want and and sort of leave okay but i feel like with this in reverse it's like this needs to stop this hot and cold needs to stop because i feel like this is where it causes us uh triggering you know when this person comes in and out and then we feel used and abused so i feel like we need to address why this person is coming in and out well we don't need to address it they need to look at that action but we need to have a hangman approach when it comes to seeing why this person's in and out and not feel you know like it's it's them sort of doing it to hurt us them doing it so that they can make us angry or that they don't like us therefore this is why they're doing this they're doing this because they don't know how to handle their emotions how to get deeper here okay seven of pentacles this is the energy the effort 
that we put into something so that we can attain the, the fruits of our labor. Knight of Swords, we confront it. Okay, we have tough discussions. We confront it. We don't run away. And we have the Empress in reverse, which you had in your energy check, Taurus energy. This is understanding our self-worth, our value. And I feel like you don't feel valued. You don't feel appreciated when this person comes in and out. Okay, and it, it makes you feel like this could even mean sex without love, you know, like not, not, not appreciated here, especially if this person's acting in this energy. Now, if we're feeling this way, we want to know, you know, that we're in control of our own feelings. We don't need somebody to, you know, make us feel unworthy, but we can understand where the trauma sits and what's triggering here. Yeah, and the emperor in reverse. Look at that. Again, divine counterparts, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, Aries energy and both in reverse. So I feel like, I do feel I'm reading potentially for twin flames here. And this is like the reflection here. It's like you have traumas and wounds here that are being really reflected by this person's actions. You know, how they're showing up. And this person is uh, also needing to come into their divine masculine energy and learn their own self-worth here by leaning into things and confronting them rather than just fearing them and continuously sort of being hot and cold here. So I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. You guys have a lot more hermit work to do. Things will be stuck here and emotionally unsatisfying in this connection until we both come into our full understanding of self. And we could say that person has their traumas and I can make a little wiggle room here in, in regards to how I see this person and engage with this person from this mindset knowing that as much as I have disappointment and feel uh, abandoned when this person acts this way, they also have a trauma here that gets triggered every time I put this sort of 20-year plan in front of them or whatever. And you might say, well, it's not a 20-year plan. It's just I want them to commit. It's like, okay, but what does that mean? You know, what does that mean? You know, do you want them just not to see other people? Then tell them that then, you know, because that's a middle ground. So, this is how it's coming out and again i'm not trying to make you victim of anything if you don't want this person then you don't want this person if you want to move forward if you want to have some way to come out of this sort of disappointing situation it's going to take some work you know it's going to take effort on both your ends it's going to take confronting each other and confronting what we need to confront here you know and not projecting and putting it all on the other person okay so and that goes for them as well. So this is what I have, pal number one. I love you very much. I hope this helped you in some way. And to answer your question, will they be back? I, I do feel this person's going to come back, but it's going to come back because they want to repeat a cycle. They're not going to come back being completely different, giving you this sort of commitment and what it is that you're wanting or, you know, why it is that you left, you know? So if you do take them back, it's under an understanding here that this person is going to have to acknowledge something and maybe it means being you know away from this person until they work through that but i don't know that's what i have all right i'll see you soon bye hello beautiful gorgeous angels pile number two you pick this birdie right here pile number two we're looking at your person and whether this person will be back are they coming back well do they want reconciliation and, and what will happen so we'll be using the fyodor pavlov tarot all right for your reading and because in this reading, we need to know whether it resonates for you um, and that it is your pile, I'm going to do a quick energy check. All right, so we're going to see how you would describe this connection, either as a whole, you know, from the beginning um, to me, or in current state. So I don't know what's going to pull through, but you should resonate with this being the energy of the connection. And sometimes energy comes reversed or flipped meaning i say it's you and it's your person or your person and it's you vice versa so if you need to crisscross the energies for the people then go ahead and do that but do not force anything to fit okay so we're looking at pile two and how would pile two describe this connection to me so that they know whether this is indeed their pile spirit clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile two please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile two and this connection spirits thank you so much so let's take a look how would pile two describe this connection to me how will they know this is their pile 
Thank you, Spirit. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message. For the greatest and highest good of how to. The Emperor wanting to reveal itself. Aries energy, divine masculine energy. Wow. And oh, I'm feeling those. And we have, I don't read bottom of the deck in reverse, we have nine pentacles. And under that, we have the sun, Leo energy. Wow. Lots of confidence coming through with the Emperor and Nine Pentacles straight away from these cards. Okay, let's see. We'll pull some oracles as well so I can get a good sort of understanding of what's going on here. And the energy check before we get into whether this person will be back. We'll come back. Spirit, clear and concise message. How is Pau One seeing? Feeling, understanding this connection to be. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, and one more. Sorry, guys, I, I know I sometimes take very long to get the cards out, but it helps me to get in the zone. Okay, so we have nine deep heart believe in divine destiny oh my goodness nine is hermit energy virgo energy and we have isolation also more virgo energy with the hermit isolation okay and then we have sensitivity 35 or the number eight the frequency of sensitivity helps us open to the world of subtlety and detail while anchoring in a structural foundation Thus supporting us to become more fully multidimensional. And we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Isolation, loneliness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. We have the hangman, Pisces energy. We have page of wands. We have the ace of pentacles in reverse. We have five pentacles and we have the empress. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love how you guys come here for your readings and, and I keep getting like divine counterparts. Okay, so we have emperor and empress, like divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Okay, this is, oopsie, I'm going to get demonetized. This is um divine counterparts. You guys see each other as your other half here. Okay, and we have justice Libra energy. So let me tap into this energy because I'm feeling sort of an interesting energy here. Just give me a, a bit. Three wands under that. Okay. So pile two, I, I love your energy um, as a person here, okay? Um, but I feel like um, you're sad. I feel like you're sad here and you've been very sort of um, let down. You feel not very good in this connection at all, you know? Like, and you feel like, I don't know, like, is this person not see my value? Why do I feel left out? Why is it that we can't come together? Why is it that we can't manifest something here? Why is it that I feel like this person has all the power and the control and that they can be calling the shots here? And it seems to you that this person doesn't want to be with you, that this person is sort of rather be single, that this person would rather just do their own thing and be in charge of their own life and do their own thing. And here you are trying to gain a better understanding and wanting to build on your own self-confidence and trying to restore some sort of balance and justice and in, in this connection and also maybe in your life like you know if this is meant to be i believe that destiny would bring us together but why is it then that i feel left out why is it that nothing has happened here why is it that i feel like um in my heart connected to this person but the opposite is what i'm experiencing here because all I'm experiencing here is being left out, feeling not supported by this person or like we can't grow together. And it's really, really painful here. And so you're sitting here not knowing what to do, not knowing what to do. It's like, am I supposed to see things differently? Am I supposed to 
you know, find something within myself to move out of this energy so that I could just um, be happy and restore some sort of justice here. Because right now I feel like this connection isn't reflecting anything positive to you and it's not creating anything positive. At least you don't see it. And so I feel you want to move forward. You want to expand. You want whatever's going to be providing you happiness because you don't feel happy here in the uncertainty, not seeing what the future holds, not seeing your own confidence, not seeing it reflected back to you. So I feel like you are learning about your own self-worth. You're learning about boundaries and being empowered and you know taking charge of your own life and building your own stability outside of connection or anyone else. But it's hard because I feel you feel like this person is your divine counterpart. There's something that really deeply connects you to this person. And so it taps into this space that kind of makes you feel really immobilized because it's it's a lonely feeling to dig yourself out of this hole of feeling this way, you know? And so if this person does anything, it triggers you. I feel like you're very sensitive to this person, you know? Like this person has your heart and, and you feel like anything that they sort of do could trigger you in a way here that you don't want to be triggered you want to be empowered you want to call the shots in your own life you don't you don't want to be at the mercy of whether this person wants to engage with you or not or wants to move forward or not or you know and as far as you're concerned this person's only solely focused on themselves sure yeah like things aren't moving in this connection Things haven't manifested. There wasn't a way to see through this. And you're not seeing through moving away from this person either. It's like, how do I move away from this person? How do I move on? How do I go on with the pain I feel? I feel hurt. I feel hurt because of the experience I had here. But I'm also hurt because I don't know that I can move away from this person. It's really pulling at your heart here, okay? And you understand that you know, there's a greater purpose with this person or there's like a divine union supposed to happen here or that this person means something to your future in some way here but it's not happening so i feel like your first choice would be to have a future with this person to make things work but since that's not happening or at least this doesn't seem to be this person's focus it's like okay well then i want to just be happy and move forward i want to move on i want to go and um have a sort of a my mind lobotomized which is weird i've never said that like I really forget about this person, you know, so that I can move on and move forward. Like, then that would be my choice, but I'm neither here nor there. So now I'm just suffering this pain. Suffering this pain. Wow. Pile number one or two. I'm sorry, pile two. I could certainly be a connection to one, but let's see then. Is this person returning? Okay. Is this person returning? I feel like you feel alone. So whether this person is around or not, they don't feel as though they're making any sort of effort to be in your world okay so i do feel you feel alone whether they're you know whether you guys are in contact or not it's the fact that you feel alone whether they're there or not because they're not really making themselves yours in some way or i don't know committing themselves or dedicating themselves or reflecting to you that they have some sort of unconditional love or value or respect you in any way so let's see for pile number two spirits pile two's person will they be back are they coming back? And when they do, if they do, what do they want? What's the energy going to be here in regards to how two's person? Will they be back? Are they coming back, Spirit? Thank you so much for this beautiful reading. All right. This one spun around. Will Pile two's person be back? So... I don't know that you guys ever really fully had something great at one point. I mean, this person just sort of captured your heart, I feel, here. You know, they captured your heart. So I don't know if there was like a, I don't know, a bubble phase or a, um, a false start to this person. And then it just didn't go anywhere and now you're stuck on them. Or if nothing really happened, it's just you feel really connected to this person, which is kind of what I'm more feeling. You're just really, really, really seeing this person as your person, you know? And it's not getting anywhere. 
uh, so you feel, okay? So spirits will pile to this person. Come back, be back. And what is the energy going to be like when they do, if they do? <clears throat> okay. So we have friendship 22. 22 is a master number. It's about the peacemaker. Okay, diplomacy, healthy, energetic boundaries. It's also it's also indicative of um, divinely guided relationships, which I was really feeling with the Empress and the Emperor, the 22. So friendship, the energy of friendship supports our intrinsic desire for connection with others based on mutual affection and appreciation. I feel like you weren't even probably getting that much from this person, what it seemed to me, okay? So curious heart, embark on a great adventure, number seven. This did come out for pile one. Interesting. Curious heart, embark on a great adventure. And we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. This also came out for pile one. Energy check. Interesting. And we have trust. Okay. And we have energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. I don't read bottom of the deck reverse. Under the Ace of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, lots of cups. Cups is all about emotions. And we have Five Swords. And we have the Moon, Cancer Pisces energy. And we have the Six Swords. It also came out a lot for Pile One. We have the Knight of Coins. And we have the three wands showing up again in your reading. It was under the card there when we looked under the deck twice. Okay, knight of wands in reverse. Okay, so let me see. Will this person be back? Temperance under that, Sagittarius. Okay, will this person be back? Yes, 100% this person's coming back. And I don't feel you need to do much, okay? I, I feel like this person understands there's something about their energy that's been sort of selfish here. Okay, so they have been um, focused on themselves. They've been sort of trying to fulfill themselves however they see fit. And sometimes it's in selfish ways. And because sometimes nine of cups to me could be the hedonistic card, you know, like doing what we want whatever it is in the moment that makes us feel happy. And so I feel like uh, they might have felt what they were doing was making them happy and satisfied, but I feel like they come to an understanding or at least there is this energy sitting here of in this connection, I was five swords. I was sabotaging by being in a very selfish sort of energy because it wasn't, it, it, there's something unfulfilling about it now that, I'm not fully understanding yet, okay? This is how your person's feeling. Like they can't put into words or fully understand or see why being in the energy that they have been in, which I was really picking up from your energy check that they've been so focused and sort of like they don't care and just doing their own thing. And and they feel five swords. Like it, it didn't help me to come together or to be in good graces with pile two. And so I don't know why this is, making me feel this way. So there's like curiosity in regards to why do I feel bad about this? I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to feel like I'm sabotaging or causing pain here because it doesn't feel right. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't feel right to me. And so I want to come out of that state that I'm in, that selfish type energy, that self-focused energy. And I want to move forward here, okay, slowly and sort of see, I feel like they're curious about what it would be on the other side here, but I feel it's a little very cautious and like this person's on a wheelchair here. I feel it's slow moving and I feel like there's still this sort of, um, I don't know if we want to call it a, um, a disability because I feel like the disability here is them not really knowing for sure why it is, you know, that they want to move forward, why it is what they want, what's their intent here. They just know it felt not very good. It felt five swords to them to be in that energy. It felt like this connection was sitting in a five swords energy because it wasn't feeling cohesive. It was feeling like they were focused on them and there's something wrong with this. They just feel it intuitively. And they also know that there's feelings here, like a lot of feelings. Cups, 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 cups. Okay. 
So I feel like this person wants to come out of that energy. They will, but there's some sort of very, very slow energy and also this dia what's it called? Um, dehabilitating energy. And I feel like it's because there isn't a full understanding here as to what exactly is the problem then. You know, why was it that they were so self-focused here? But I feel they're wanting to learn. I also feel like this person wants you in their life, at least for sure, on a friendship level here. And I feel like if they continue in that way, like they wouldn't have you in their life at all. Like, well, why would we want a friend that doesn't even put in any energy or effort towards the friendship? Because I feel like it wasn't even at that level. Okay, so I feel like this person wants to have movement here. I feel like this person feels safe in your presence. I feel like this person trusts that there's something more here in this connection. I feel like this person is listening to their energy and it's pulling them towards this connection. I feel like this person no longer wants to be sitting in an energy that I feel they've been in for some time, which is it doesn't provide growth to just immediately sort of gratify and sit in some sort of selfish energy that there's a desire and a knowing that there's something more they can strive for and that it could certainly be in this connection. So I feel like this person is saying like in the past, maybe, um, you know, I could sit in my nine cups and not need anyone or anything and sit there and be totally fine with it. But there's something going on here between me and pile two that I want to explore. Okay, that I want to explore. And I do feel like the intention here isn't they just want to come in and do whatever so they could leave again. I feel like this person doesn't have that intention. You know, like I just want to get what I want because I feel like that's the energy that they're normally in is like get what I want and then it's all about me sort of energy. And that's what this Knight of Wands energy would be about. But I don't feel it is that. I feel with this connection, there's something more solid here that they're pulled towards, that they want to explore and for sure get out of the five swords feeling, okay? Five swords into six swords because they feel five swords when they sit in this energy and they're not quite sure what it is. And also their emotions are pulling through here saying, hey, you can have like an emotional new beginning in your life for yourself, which is going to be very fulfilling, you know, which is going to be very fulfilling here. But I don't know that this person knows whether, because they are already thinking, and I think this is like a an experienced belief. It's like if all they ever know is a, a nine cups in their experience, and it's been by being selfish and hedonistic and whatever and that's all they know then they think this is a true nine cup so they'll say yeah i'm emotionally happy but this is a different sort of energy than one we can have with another two of ten cups and i feel like this ace cups is an emotional new beginning that would lead them to a ten cups which i feel is more fulfilling than the nine cups that they're sitting in okay and i feel intuitively this is pulling this person for this growth to go from a nine to a 10, because we have nine cups plus the one is a 10. Okay, and 10 is all about two people coming together to be emotionally satisfied. And I mean, we could be happy on our own for sure. You know, for sure we could be happy on our own, but I, I feel like there's something about a 10 cups here that ties to connection, okay? That we don't have to kind of go it alone. And I feel this is, this is the curiosity that's pulling this person towards this connection. But I do feel like this person might still be in this lighthearted energy because I feel all they know is about self. I don't feel they know much about connection so much, you know, like how to be in different energy. I feel like it's going to be a slow process. And I feel like, again, like they're coming with some sort of disability here in regards to partnership, in regards to putting someone else sort of in the seat beside them. Because I, I don't feel this is something they're used to. And so I don't know necessarily this person's going to say, hey, like, I love you, you know, or I have feelings for you. Like, I, I don't feel this person's going to express this to you. Okay, but but they are going to be, their, their motivation is to have a new beginning, an emotional new beginning. And their guiding energy, I feel like it's an unspoken energy pulling them in this direction because they want a 10 cups. They don't want to be just nine cups here, okay, pulling them forward. So let's see if we could get a deeper layer here or understanding in regards to this energy that I'm tapped into and see if spirit wants to share some more with you guys. Pile number two spirit for pile number two and this connection. Can we get a deeper layer? Anything more pile two needs to know in regards to their person and whether they'll be back. 
clear and concise message in regards to pile number two's person and whether this person is going to return or they're going to come back. What's this energy all about here? A deeper layer, kindly spirit. Thank you so much for this message. There's that six swords again, coming out the five swords. This is slow moving energy, okay? Ace of Wands, another new beginning at the bottom of the deck. So new beginning in, in the Ace of Cups, new beginning with the Ace of Wands. I feel it's a new beginning for self, for this person, King of Swords. So uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. For some of you guys, I didn't make mention, but when I was pulling your deck uh, out, I, I do feel for some of you guys, this might be a... Um, same sex connection, not for all of you guys, okay, certainly, but I do feel there is um, some same sex pulling through here, and we could just be tapping into that energy. So both of you guys could be resonating as divine masculine or divine feminine energy. Okay. Knight of Cups revealing itself again in reverse. Knight of Cups is, sorry, I'm chewing on ice, the... Um, way we express self you know the way we show love to another we express ourselves the knight in shining armor coming forward expressing love and i feel like this person is blocked in regards to expressing how they feel in this connection but i feel like energetically we want a new beginning like i said and they're pulled by their passion their desire for you and this connection i don't think this person knows why page of wands yeah there's that passion again there's the explorator exploratory energy Plus the page is communication. So I do feel there is going to be communication. It is pulled because of their passion towards you. But I don't feel like they're going to be like, hey, I love you. And I'm going to be expressing my emotions right off the hop here. Okay. Hang then. They're seeing things different. And that's that whole energy I was picking up. It's like I no longer want to just be in that nine cups in my own bubble of, you know, self-gratification and feeling I'm completely happy with the nine cups here because I've had a taste of a 10 cups in some way. So I don't know if it's just this potential of seeing, you know, this in you or how you've awakened this within them, but I feel like there's this turn of perception that's happening here where they're seeing things from a different way. And so I do feel like this person, um, is in this energy right now. If you haven't heard from them, it's because they're reflecting on this understanding, but certainly this person is going to come forward. Okay, King of Cups, look at that. So the King of Cups loves deeply, and we saw a bunch of cups. I feel this person has a great propensity to love, to love deeply, okay? But the King of Cups sometimes has no way of acting on this love, like it has a hard time taking action on their feelings here. And so I feel like this person feels love. I feel like this person wants to take action on the Ace of Cups that they were feeling. But I feel like this person doesn't know how to express this or show this outward. And so this is why this person is kind of in the stalled energy. This is what, what's caused this in the first place. It wasn't because they just wanted to sit nine cups and push you away because there was no feelings. It's like this person truly, I feel, doesn't know how to express themselves with feelings. And so this person has had to sit there and contemplate because I feel like they can't deny, you know, they, they trust their, their feelings, their intuitive sort of emotions and how they feel, but it's more of them not sort of being confident in what it is that they can do to show up in a way here that's going to express this fully. So it's kind of a little bit of a conundrum here I see, you know, and... I feel like they are going to keep things fairly light on the outside because of the simple fact that I feel like they're still trying to explore what this is about because they don't know. I don't think they know it, where this is being pulled from with this curious heart and embark on a great adventure. That's there. They're wanting to explore this, wanting to trust that their feelings are going to guide them somewhere here, you know? And here we have the fool. So, in the past, this person had a very hard time trusting in the sort of unknown and leaping towards, you know, trusting that they could just move towards this connection. But I feel like this is the change of perception. It's like, I, I now know that I feel five swords when I 
sit here in an energy that doesn't allow me to move forward, doesn't allow me to explore a Ten Cups. And so it wasn't getting me forward, it wasn't getting me anywhere. This person feels like it could potentially be foolish for them to, you know, support some sort of Five Swords energy. Because with the moon around, it's so much uncertainty. So it's like, why would I, why would I, be, you know, be foolish here and, and not take a chance here and, and trying to see what the future would hold here in this connection and the fact that i'm really being pulled by my passion here i want to trust and explore where i wasn't really trusting that in the past it's like a complete sort of 180 when it comes to how they see things you know a complete 180 so i want to see i'm going to pull a clarifier sorry these cards are not wanting to be picked up i'm going to pull a clarifier here for this king of cups okay and Let's see why is this king of cups here spirit so that's cancer scorpio pisces energy hangman's pisces energy fool is aquarius energy why is this king of cups here can we get some clarifier for the king of cups wow so we have eight pentacles yeah that's like taking action putting in effort energy dedication okay towards this this king cups energy to what it is they love i feel like this person has had a difficult time because I, I don't know that this person knows what it is that they're supposed to do with their emotions knight of wands in reverse okay so this is like i don't want to just sort of come in all hot and heavy and it fizzle out like this is actually something i'd have to work towards and, and be dedicated to in, in a practical way not just in sort of some sort of fleeting passionate way so there's an understanding there because there's there's actual emotions it's not just about our passion not just about moving in and what i can attain it's like because i have emotions i know that there's a need to put in a practical effort here there we go again with that native coin slow and steady so i feel like i feel it's very intuitive like on an energetic level there's love and on an intuitive level there's an understanding that because it's love and not just about this passion I have to do this and in order to do this i have to be very cautious here and move slow because there's a lot of hesitation here with the fool in reverse in the past like there's no way that this person historically would have taken a chance you know and you guys could have been friends potentially or that this person just pulled away or didn't want to chance it and seemed completely removed and now it's like well if i'm going to act in the pentacle realm it's driven from me having this love and i'm being pulled by my passion towards this person but i can't just only act on my passion so there's this slow moving energy and and i still feel with this wheelchair there's something about them not being very um capable of a full-on eight pentacles and that's the hesitation here and this is why this fool was in reverse so you know i want to see this fool it's like because i think they've had this recent sort of understanding they're not all of a sudden just in an eight pentacles mode i think they've gone from you know being sort of all about them to now maybe i can consider you know someone else maybe i can understand the concept of an eight pentacles here but i can't fully just you know go from nothing to an eight i have to sort of start with a with a seed here with the knight of coins and i gotta go slow because there is some sort of hesitancy magician yeah it's like i want to now manifest something different for myself than i have in the past and in the past i wasn't able to go explore new energy see curious hearts the fool's all about being curious and i feel like this person shut things down here with you didn't explore and now it's like i don't want to be in that energy i know i can manifest something here but i feel like there's also something about this person um really wanting to be sort of in control here like something about you know, if, if I don't have the control, if I don't know what the result will be, am I safe for just staying in my nine cups? Like, I feel like this person might feel like, okay, if I do manifest something here, like, I want the control. I want to call the shots. I want to be able to do this. Okay, and now I feel like they might feel more in charge or more in control of their ability with you in this connection to take this chance. And in the past, they might have not okay i feel like in the past they did not so let's see i want to pull one more here and get one more clarifier here for this magician and we have the chariot it's like now i'm confident that i have everything it's going to take in order for me to make movement here okay because this is all about movement victory and this is also integrating shadow 
and, and we see the sun here behind his head, which is enlightenment, which is this hang man. It's like we ha now have a different understanding. We're now enlightened about how we can move forward and have success. So I feel like this person understands that there could be success in moving forward, integrating parts of self that needed healing, which was the part of self that was really stuck in, a, in a, only a nine cup sort of understanding, or that could be the pinnacle of what they could attain was a nine cups, you know, whatever that meant to them at the risk of not taking a chance on expansion. So I feel like this person definitely wants expansion. We saw the three of wands. I believe we saw it twice now. And so I feel like this is where this person wants to move towards. Now I do just want to see this Knight of Cups. Like why is it that this person can't then express their emotions here to you? I feel like this person just wants the control and if they express how they feel, they might feel like they're giving away their power. And I, I do feel like this person is putting your sort of friendship before this sort of romantic connection, if you will. So I don't know if they just don't want to, you know, sour things here if it doesn't work out. Although I do feel it's gone sour already. So this is the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like, that's exactly what I was saying here. It's like they're going from this reverse knight of cups because of this inability to connect to the pentacle realm which is they'd have to put in the effort the energy and the dedication into something so it's like i might as well not even you know chase up on my feelings express how i feel because i'm just sort of giving up on the fact that i'm not taking a chance on on the the, the commitment i'd have to make to dedicate energy effort and practical energy here towards this connection so now seeing things differently and i'll saying well i can't just say i don't I can't express it because I know I have feelings. So I can't just, you know, suppress that I have feelings here. And so I understand that there's a need for this dedication and this effort, which I think they always knew. But it was going from just sort of giving up energy to knowing now I, I still can't go just from nothing to an eight of pentacles. So I'm going to slowly work my way here, very slowly with this seed of pentacle, you know, because the wands would just sort of fizzle out. So I need to act cautiously and go from a one to an eight, you know, and give it what I have here. But he's not quite at an eight here, I feel. I say he, she, whatever this energy is, I feel it's divine masculine, but, and this is cancer energy, and this is Virgo and Gemini energy, and we have the star, and I don't read bottom of the deck reverse. So star, Aquarius energy. This is all about the long-term vision and, and attaining our wish here, okay? So I feel like, this is also about the guiding light. I feel like this person's being guided. Again, divine guidance is coming through here because I believe you guys had um, 22 master number, if I'm not mistaken, in your end. Oh, here, 22. That's all about divinely guided relationships. The star, divinely guided relationship. There's something divinely guided here, okay? And so I feel like this person feels there's a destined call to move forward in this connection. So I feel like mo part of this movement is divine guidance. And I do feel like um, this person is having to sort of organically get there, you know, on their own accord. So will they be back? Yes, they will be back. Um, but I, I feel like the energy will be exactly as I explained. So there's more, you know, I feel like there's more that you and this person will uncover. But this is kind of how it transitions from where it's at to where it's going. And... In the meantime, I feel like you're probably needing advice and guidance because I do feel like your energy was something here that felt really sort of um, stuck or heartbroken or abandoned. So I don't want to give you, you know, this hope and then you're sitting around here waiting for this person because it's not going to help you because I feel there's something you're supposed to be doing. So you're being divinely guided to do something. What is it that you're divinely guided to do here? Because I feel you're supposed to be learning about your own self-worth, your own value, you know? So let's see, Spirit, what is Pile 2 supposed to be doing? What is their divine guidance? So we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, don't sit around waiting, okay? This is like being a stalemate, sitting around, not moving one way or another, not sure which way to go. This is like don't just sit around because... Sometimes when we just sit there and we don't make any decision, it's like the universe will just force us in, in a direction. And there's a need for you to sort of pick up the sort of truth, you know, pick up the sort of truth, whatever it might be in this moment, in order to have movement, in order to not feel stuck. 
because feel, feeling two swords is not a, a good energy here. Yeah, three swords, we're feeling heartbreak. And Spirit is saying, you know, we don't need to feel heartbreak. We don't need to. And I know you might feel it and think, well, how do I get out of it? And that's us picking up the sword of truth and saying, although I do feel heartbroken, I have to take action and move towards something that does feel good. Because I can't sit here in three swords. And I'll look, ten swords. And it's in reverse. So ten swords is a painful ending. But it is in reverse. So Spirit is saying, know that we experience pain so that we can make changes in our own life whatever feels right and honest and comfortable sitting in a stalemate and not moving makes us feel more pain and know that it is not over that there's more to go here okay and so we might feel it's it's completely over for us in this connection i don't feel it is but i feel like what spirit is saying is that whatever you have experienced you need to put that to an end you can't let that heartache linger. Okay, so oh, if that means that this person needs to, you need to close out the book of this person and what you experience with them in that phase, then that's what you need to do. You need to close it out. Get whatever closure you need because it's still sitting open. You're still sitting in the three swords. And if you don't do this, then energetically, th th I feel this is a very heavily energetic sort of connection here. And then th that won't really allow there to be an opening here for this person to energetically sort of come back because you're not ready okay you're not ready here and i feel again this is divinely guided so i feel like there is some major lessons here needing to be learnt, and i don't feel like it's been concluded yet fully whatever this lesson is here okay and it all is in divine timing so if one side of the equation is not ready then it halts whatever it needs to and if the other side is not ready then it halts and puts a delay so i feel like the the guidance here is you getting clear, you making a decision, you getting out of three swords by closing out any closure that you need in order to close the chapter with this person right here, right now. doesn't mean that you can never come back together, but it'll, it'll change the energy in what you guys do, okay? Because you don't want to experience this same energy with this person. You want new energy. You know, as far as you're concerned, it's a new connection with this person, not the same connection. That needs to close out. Yeah, move out of it. Eight cups, move out of that energy. I know easier said than done, but if you're always hanging on to a truth, a greater truth, and taking action on it, even if it hurts, and then you'll slowly get out of that energy. But until you're fully out of that, this person is going to be in their nine cups and sort of in this avoidance, selfish type energy. Because it's all about energy, okay? It's all about energy. So look at that, seven cups. So you're not quite sure. You know, you're not quite sure. You're sitting two swords. You're sitting seven cups. You're like, is this person coming back? What's going to happen? I, I have a, a, a future vision of what could be possible. And so you're hanging on to that, which keeps you idle. And so you're saying, come out of that head in clouds. Okay. The only way it will be possible for you to get to whatever your wish and desires and vision of what you want here, what you're fantasizing is for you to take action, which is move out of what doesn't fulfill you, which is this current state, because it's causing you pain. Only focus on this, okay? Only focus on getting the closure here, because I feel like this needs to come to an end, okay? Don't sit there fantasizing about what this person could be and have been, if if you could do this, okay? I know easier said than done, but that's your guidance. You have to come out of that. You have to come out of that. You have to see value in self. So pile number two, this is your reading. I hope this helped you. I love you very much, and I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful pile number three. You guys picked the blue birdie and the purple flowers. All right, so we're looking at using the deck of the tarot of the divine to see whether your person, person on your mind, will be back. Are they coming back? Do they want a reconciliation? If they come back, what do they want? All right, so we'll see if they're coming back. But before we get into that, we want to see if this is your pile. So we'll do an energy check and we'll see if this resonates for you so that you know for sure whether this is your pile or not sometimes energy comes flipped or reversed meaning i say it's you when it's your person or i say it's your person and it's you vice versa you can swap energies as you see fit okay but don't force messages to fit um if the message doesn't resonate leave it for someone else because there's a lot of people here and not everything is going to be 100 percent it's more the essence of the reading or the general pile that should be resonating for you okay so 
Let's take a look at pile one and how would they explain this connection to me? Now this could be coming through as current state or just the overall energy of the connection. I don't know how it's going to come through, but it should be something that resonates for you, how you would explain it to me. Spirit clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile three and the connection. What is going to make pile three know whether this is their pile or not? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile three. Please protect me and the viewer as a channel this message. Thank you so much, Spirit, and thank you so, so much, pile three, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm so blessed, so grateful to be here. How would you describe this connection to me? Well... We have lots to say for sure about this. Pulling one here. Pulling another one. Sometimes pulling the cards takes a bit, and I, I do apologize. I, I realize I take quite some time, but it helps me to, to channel so I can get in the zone. You can skip ahead if you don't like this process. Clear and concise message for beautiful pile number three in regards to whether this is their pile or not. How would they describe this connection, this person, this experience to me? Thank you, Spirit. Last Oracle card. Okay, big mess. So what do we have? The world. This could certainly be a long distance connection. You might have met this person on the internet. Okay, that's for some of you guys that's coming through. The world is all about the conclusion and end of a cycle. And here we have the page of wands. Okay, so let's see. We have four chakra. This is the heart chakra. The energy of the heart chakra supports our inner guidance system, which is governed by our heart and the capacity to love deeply. Wow. We have healing heart, 15. Face your shadow and grow. Wow, 15 is the devil in the tarot, which is Capricorn energy, and is also number six in the tarot, which is the lovers. So lovers meets devil energy here. Lovers is Gemini energy, and I don't know if I said the devil is Capricorn energy. I don't know if I said, for some reason Gemini is coming through. I don't know if I mentioned. I don't know why there's nothing here, but Gemini is coming through. Okay, so self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And we have cleanse, and we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Wow. Okie dokie. I'm getting um, a lot of mirroring as well here. Okay, I'm getting mirroring here. Like this, this connection has really sort of made you see something here in yourself. So, seven of cups in reverse. Five of swords in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. I swear all of them aren't in reverse. The moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy, eight coins, which is eight pentacles, two wands, and queen of cups in reverse, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and page of swords. Okay, under the page of wands in reverse, we have the nine of swords in reverse. Lots of reversals in this deck, but I don't know why that would be. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up the energy here. Give me a minute. Okay, this one's uh, coming through quite um, clear. This is all your energy, I feel. But obviously, if this is your person, then you can switch it. But one energy, which I feel is yours. So what you would say here is that this has been a painful experience for you. A very painful one because it's left you in confusion. So for a long time, we weren't sure which way to go. We were confused. Nothing made sense. There's a lot of five swords. Nobody won. This person could have been self-sabotaging. There was things here that didn't make us happy. We felt like we didn't have victory in this connection. We didn't win what we wanted or that just it wasn't successful. But what we got here is a whole bunch of lessons. Okay, so we're working on and we have been working on getting clear. 
And we've been putting a lot of energy towards getting clear, moving out of this state because it's very uncomfortable. And so we know that we have a decision and it's our decision which way we want to move. It's our decision how we give love. And so I feel like you don't want to pour emotionally into this connection. I feel like you're slowly starting to understand this. You're slowly starting to get clear based on the longer you've been sitting here. So you're wrapping up, closing this cycle because you don't want to keep emotionally pouring into something here that makes you feel not very good. And so I feel like it's, it's, it hurts, you know, to have to be in this state and it hurts to have to put that energy towards making that decision because I feel like you really wanted things to work. You really wanted it to be successful. But I do feel like your only sort of option here in order to get clear, in order for it to not to be confusing, is for you to do the other painful thing, which is make a decision to move forward. Like get very clear that you can't just be in a one-sided sort of energy here of giving to a connection or being the open flow of energy here. So I feel like there's a lot of love that you feel for your person here. And I feel like you're learning about unconditional love. But I feel like in this learning lesson of unconditional love there is this really stretching and making you grow as a person you know you've learned lots about your self-esteem your self-worth and you've really been sort of dedicated in this connection to trying to make things work for a long time and i feel like it hasn't led to it being successful and clear so i feel like the whole process is one that's been trying to get you you know on, on the path here of healing and uncovering parts of heart and self and learn about unconditional love and all of this but it's, it's painful it's been very very painful but i feel like you're at the end of a cycle or you've just closed out the cycle but i feel like for a lot of you guys you're kind of right there you know you're right there and closing this out gaining this understanding now seeing things a little different in regards to your own power and where you could put your energy towards here because i feel like the only choice would be to stay in an uncertain sort of situation where I feel like this person probably didn't prioritize you or just wasn't sure about you or yeah just left you in confusion here not knowing you know whether they wanted more or whether there was going to be more you know and I don't know I feel like you had to shed a lot of your own sort of self in some way here of what you might have been like prior to knowing this person which helped you heal i feel like you're grateful to that because i feel like you're coming closer to who you are as an understanding of you know you are a loving person and you're a giving caring compassionate person this could have also made you connect to your intuition a little bit more so there's been a lot of positive things here but in regards to this connection i feel like you feel you just didn't it didn't work I also feel like this could have been a, a very heavy confidence blow to you, you know, like maybe you're used to being very confident and, and things and this is just like it didn't work. So it was like flipping your world upside down, like not knowing then, you know, putting a lot of your self-worth in this connection or this person or how things would uh, turn out and it didn't. But I feel like at some point you could have certainly had a codependent or toxic uh, attachment to this person or this connection. It's been very hard for you to move on from, like very difficult, you know, and you couldn't see the way and lots of fear on moving on, you know. So I feel this connection also brought about a lot of subconscious uh, things within you that go beyond this person, you know, like your self-worth and your confidence and your true self here and having to really dedicate yourself to healing self and peeling the layers of self. Four of Pentacles, yeah, like letting go, you know, the, the, the challenge here is letting go of what we need to. If it's this person because it wasn't healthy, then how do we let go of this person, this connection? If it's things in our life that we need to let go of, how do we let go of that? It's like not being attached to things, not clinging to things for our happiness. I feel like you've been hanging on to things, you know, um, which would bring you a sense of security. But I feel like this whole lesson here was one of healing and learning to let go. So I feel like that is what you're closing out is how do I let go so that I can move forward and let God and let things sort of happen here because it didn't work the way that it was going, okay? So if that sounds like something you're resonating with energetically, then we're gonna take a look at whether this person is coming back or not. And the fact that we saw the six wands in reverse, I do feel like, um, you feel it wasn't successful. So I would imagine 
Either the connection obviously uh, didn't take, like there's no two cups here, but I don't necessarily know that you're not in communication with this person. So when we say come back, like you want to know, like, you know, is this person going to want, uh, you know, to, to share like a two of cups? Are they going to want a connection? You know, because I do feel like some of you guys might be in communication. Not all of you guys, but most of you guys still in communication, but it's not giving you any answers. It's not providing any clarity in regards to this connection. So, spirit, pile number three, this person. Will they be back? Are they coming back? Do they want a reconciliation? And if they come back, what will the energy be like? What are they wanting if they come back here? Okay, will they be back? Pile number three, person, spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile three and this connection. Being called to cut the deck yet again. All right, so... Will Kyle Three's person be back? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of Kyle Three. Will Kyle Three's person, the person on their mind, be back? Bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords. I don't read bottom of the deck in reverse. We have Growth. Okay, two more. more oracle packs and one more will pile three's person be back okay we have transparency 43 or the number seven the energy of transparency supports our expansion towards higher vibrational state of being with more insight honesty and clarity Wow, yeah, I feel that was the biggest thing here that was sort of missing here. That's sort of with the coming out of the moonlight and the seven cups and a bunch of confusion. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And courage. Oh my goodness. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And we have knowing heart, heed your intuition. Number six, six is the lovers in the tarot. All about balance, harmony, problem solving, compassion. Okay. Scorpio energy pulling through, Leo energy pulling through. Growth, earth energy. We have justice in reverse, Libra. Six of cups. This is my soulmate's card in reverse. Page of wands in reverse. The tower in reverse. Oh, you guys, these cards come all in reverse. Seven of Wands. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. And under the Eight of Swords, we have seven coins, seven pentacles. Okay, so just let me sit here with this energy. Queen of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think we're going to definitely have to do another round here because I don't know that I can answer your question with the, what I see here about the, the coming back just yet, but it might come through. So I do get the energy of what's going on. This person understands that they haven't been clear. There hasn't been any clarity here, you know, they haven't been potentially honest with their intention or their insight so it's like you don't know what's going on here this is uh, the massive transformation that's happening right now within this person's world okay with this death it's like a spiritual transformation massive change and i feel like both of you guys are reflecting each other because you have the world card which is putting an end of, of a cycle here like it's been a massive change and transformation for you and i feel like this transformation all ties back to this person's inability to have confidence in 
being clear and open and, and trusting, you know, that they could have more, or want more, or do more, and be honest about it. They were really pulled by their fear. And so they were really needing to lean, lean in their courage. And this is why they were sort of held back. So I feel like they were doing what you were doing with the four pentacles. You know, you might have been leaning into them and hanging on to this connection. And they were leaning back and hanging on to their own false world. So they're trying to keep up a tower, is what I see here. Okay, and keeping up the tower is really fear of what it would mean when the tower falls and that tower is our lies to self and what we've built on shaky ground no longer can sustain itself so i feel like there's a lot of imbalance in this person's world i feel like being in this energy has brought injustice to this connection is definitely been imbalance but i feel like this person cannot you know um have growth cannot sort of move on from this connection until they learn about the process of change and it is inevitable that death happens one way or another transformation energy transforms and that's what's happening and i feel like this person is hanging on to their thing of the past here okay their childhood person place thing of the past i don't know like their hometown their family life their friends what they know of when they were younger like an inability to allow this to change and so it keeps us stuck and it keeps us holding up a tower, you know, and then fighting for that sort of belief or whatever it is that we, we think we want to support here. And so I, I feel like this didn't allow this person to explore. This didn't give the person the, the courage to go on the journey of going after this connection, which I feel they were passionately called to do. And I feel this person felt passionate about you. So I feel like they didn't communicate their intention of how to move forward or what they wanted. And so... They were not transparent at all, okay? And so I, I feel like this person, this is all eight swords energy, you know, and we have a belief that limits us from moving forward. We believe that the illusion or the false thing needs to be kept up. This is eight swords because we fear some sort of thing that's mentally telling us that we have to sort of stay put or something bad would happen to us in some way. So we believe in the limitation or the restriction, which keeps us in a mental prison. So I feel like this person is sort of sitting in this. I need to understand where I'm putting in my energy with the seven pentacles. Like, what am I going to give to? Because I feel like this fire is getting bigger and bigger, which started here, something they weren't really pursuing, you know, like fully full on pursuing this connection. And now this flame is like taking over and it's like this person's going to have to take action here. They're going to have to take action here. They can't sit here with the tower falling and this state so i feel like what spirit is really showing is they have to get out of the burning tower and move forward no matter how challenging the universe this is all major arcana the universe pulls us out of situations if we don't get out because they make it harder and harder and harder here the universe like makes things fall apart because it needs movement energy needs to flow and so this is what's happening here and so as this flows this person has to be forced with the self-reflection Self-reflection leads to growth, okay, when we really go within and really do the hermit's work. And I don't know that this person fully did the self-reflection, fully went inwards to really reflect. And I feel like this is where they're headed. They're headed to this having to really look at why they were stuck to some sort of childhood thing, situation, false story that they identified with that they were fighting for that was resisting them moving forward towards what they needed to and now everything's ablaze and potentially they feel like your energy is now you know in, in a true energy of moving on because they felt like you were having to choose the second wand because this person's stuck okay so this person really is working on knowing their own heart heed your intuition because once we know ourselves deeply know thyself we now connect to our intuition. We now know how to move forward. We now know our decisions despite fears. And this person is really led by a big, big old fear. A big old fear of the tower falling. Something in their established world. I mean, like I said, it could be a family situation, structure, stability that they have made that they feel is something they couldn't break away from. So this is massive transformation in their life. It's going to take them really leaning into this fear, really looking at themselves you know, like really, really using their courage to do this, okay? But I feel like the universe had to intervene here because I feel this person was very, very stuck. So now I want to see past this then. 
because I still don't see that this person is coming forward. I just see what's sort of happening. So let's ask spirits for a deeper layer. Pile number three's person. Will they come forward? Will pile three's person be back? Can we kindly get a deeper layer here, spirit, and see if pile three's person is coming back? Will they be back? Will they want reconciliation? So we have five swords in reverse. Why is this first card here, spirit? Second card. And why is this five swords in reverse? And finally, bottom of the deck, we have the five of cups. Bottom of the deck reverse. So this is looking back in sadness, regret, remorse. Looking at our past actions, feeling bad about it. A new beginning. A new beginning. Mm, okay, so let's see. Two of Wands. Yeah, the universe. When we sit at the crossroads, not deciding, choosing the comfort zone after a while, we no longer have a choice. And I feel like that's what it is. There's no longer a choice. So either that whole tower uh, comes tumbling down because the universe makes it fall apart completely and they can no longer hold it up and or you are completely now out of this person's options like you're no longer a, an option here so there's no crossroads they can't choose you you're no longer a decision here so this is where we're starting from in this spread so once you're no longer an option once this person no longer can choose what do we what do they do uh king of swords so we have gemini libra aquarius in reverse and we have the knight of swords yes okay good courage and we have the four of tentacles so really looking at that energy that they're hanging on to onto here this i think spun around the queen of pentacles doesn't really matter if it's upright or reverse because we're just reading energy and nine of wands in reverse okay so What's under the fool? Judgment. Wow. Okay. So this is heavy, heavy energy with death. Scorpio. I don't know if I told you. Yeah, I did. Okay. Scorpio energy. Aquarius energy. This is your person really having to sit and sit with their karma. Sit with the decisions that they made or lack thereof. Okay. Like all the truth comes sort of tumbling down here. So I feel like their tower comes falling down. And so this is going to take a while to process. And I feel like you're no longer going to be an option here in this person's world, or at least how they feel. Okay. And I feel like this person is sad about what has happened here. And the fact that they've sat indecisive at this crossroads. Now I feel huge that in order for them to process this grieving, it's going to take them a while to process the three cups, which is the tower, I feel, before they can do anything about a two cups with you. So I feel like this person is still in the energy of the three cups that have spilled, the thing that didn't really necessarily solely matter, that was getting in the way of this connection. And I feel like this person, once they grieve, once they go through the process... I feel like this person is going to consider having a new beginning here, looking at their future of what they could build for themselves. And if you're not around, then, I mean, then you're not around. And this person doesn't see how they could strategically do this, but they'll have no choice but to move forward in their own life. Okay, now I do see this little hand reaching out. I don't know if you could see that. Okay, so I feel as though this person feels that you are unconditionally there and supportive of this person. And so I feel like there's this understanding that they need to grieve or process some sort of thing here before they can tend to the two cups and that's their understanding that you'll be there okay that you'll be there and they can have a new beginning and a new future here i don't know if this is accurate or not but i feel like there's an understanding of this and so i feel like this person doesn't fully know how like there's no sort of roadmap here to understand how they can make something happen for themselves in this connection but i feel like they'll have no choice but to be confronting and lean into their courage because this tower is falling whether they like it or not this three cups is going to spill over at some point because it doesn't work for them they need to release it it's no longer serving their life okay so i feel like this person is confronting where they've been for pentacles like whatever they are hanging on to here, the comfort zone, their false sense of stability, they confront this. They no longer can just stay there while the building's on fire. 
Yeah, that's an analogy, but it's like it goes to the point where the spirit and the universe make it so uncomfortable that this person has no choice but to act. And so I feel like they are going to take action. And I feel like this person understands that at that point in time that they're going to have to deal with the five swords here that they caused pain in this connection. But they also feel as though you're the type of person here who's coming through as this queen of pentacles. Okay, this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And they feel like you're going to be the type of person who is not going to be, you know, shutting them out or resisting them or being defensive in any way. They feel like you're the type of person here who is... Um, you know, pretty solid and reliable. And that if you retreated, you retreated because this person was uh, incapable of being there and that they were five swords and you couldn't sort of stick around. But I feel that they see you here as, um, as wife material here with the queen of pentacles. This is someone reliable, consistent. Okay. And they see you as someone here who isn't going to be shutting them out or guarded in any way. They also see you as someone here who's not going to fight you know, like you're not going to go and start fighting for this connection that you've given up. And so they see you as someone who's given up on them or given up hope or no longer going to be fighting for this person because all they've showed you was this five swords. Okay, but I feel like this person is going to have to deal with that. So are they going to deal with it? I feel they're going to confront it. But I feel like they're needing to and they will be dealing with the three cups that are spilling over in their life. So I don't see this person coming back like the right away to do anything with you. I feel like you're on the back burner here as an understanding, as someone who they see, you know, as someone who they see that had to surrender, someone who they see here as could be an option eventually, maybe. And if you are an option and a choice here, that's, they can only choose this once they deal with letting go of their six cups in reverse. But I don't feel like this person knows you know they, they don't know what's going to happen here they don't see a way out of this they have to just feel their way out of this and confront this so th they must have a very stuck and we were feeling devil energy from your um spread they must feel very very stuck to whatever this is so i'm gonna see if we can get three cards here for a little bit more in this energy and then we'll get you some advice. But, you know, if I were to really answer your question as I'm coming back, like, not to this connection right away. I feel like what they're going to be dealing with is something that's taking priority. And so energetically, they can only go so far. And I don't see this connection as, as being the priority right now because I got to deal with this tower. Look at the fire, bigger and bigger. So I got to deal with the fire. And that's where their energy has to be put towards because they can no longer sustain holding up that tower. Spirit, can we get a deeper layer? Pile number three's person, will they be back? Can we see a deeper layer here in regards to what it is we're showing? The fool, you know, there's that new beginning again. And at some point, they're going to want to build that empire. You know, they're looking at that palace here with certainty, with clarity now. New beginning free to take that chance but i don't feel they're, they're free to take this chance just yet because they're still dealing with the fired building uh, tower and ace of swords in reverse yeah it's like they have to come into greater truth and they have to see clearly and we were getting the king of swords in reverse so they're not seeing clearly they're not understanding this understanding and this truth will only come when they confront the tower that's falling that's on fire right now and that's their priority Okay, and so I feel like once that is dealt with, this person is going to be wanting a new beginning here, looking at this connection, looking at you, because they see you as this Queen of Pentacles, as sort of this future, I don't know, like palace, future stability they can have, but it's like, you know, they're going to have to deal with this five swords, and I feel this person is still in denial and not seeing some truth and, and not seeing clearly about this. They don't know. They're kind of in their feels about this three spilt cups, so... Let's see what your guidance is, pile three. Sorry, I, I wish I had better sort of news here, but I feel like this is much needed in order for this person's soul growth, you know, in order for them to know thyself with the hermit here and this knowing heart. So I don't know, this person seems to me like they could have been very cowardly because there was some fear they were really needing to lean into and they weren't, and hence why they were very unclear to you. And I feel like that 
lack of transparency is that sword in reverse. Like they're still unclear about you because they can't get clear and certain about you if they're still unclear and certain and hanging on to person, place, thing of the past. So guidance for pile three. What is this guidance for pile three? What are they needing to know here? Do you feel one more guidance? What does pile three need to know here, spirit? Okay. We have five of wands. We have the king of cups. Wow, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And we have the Ace of Cups, Emotional New Beginning, Six of Wands in reverse. And we have Judgments. And we have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Under the Five of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like um, it's going to be quite the challenge here because I feel you're conflicted. Because you know that this person has feelings for you. So spirit is validating this person has love for you. Okay. But I, I do feel this person is really heavy in the eight swords. And sometimes love isn't enough is what I feel here. You know, and we want to believe that love is enough and love all you need. But lessons sometimes in life is what we need in order to know thyself so we can connect and act on our love. And so I feel like love isn't enough in this state. And I feel like there's a lot of conflict here in regards to you knowing that this person loves you and knowing that you need to sort of move on. Okay. But I feel like your best bang for your buck here is, is to move on to have an emotional new beginning here for ourself, because I feel like you cannot have success in this connection when this person is still needing growth, when this person still doesn't know thyself, when this person still hasn't transformed, when this person is still in their fears, when this person still hasn't made decisions to let go, when this person yeah doesn't know self, it's going to cause arguments anyway. It's going to cause conflict anyway. You're going to have to fight here. You don't want to compete for this person's time and energy and effort. So I feel like, you know, instead of seeing this sort of as a loss so much, seeing it as this new beginning for yourself to work on self, to love thyself, to have a new emotional beginning. But this will take you really reflecting and being completely honest here with judgment. You know, seeing what has happened, seeing everything from a greater perspective, all the lessons that you've learned. And really leaning into this judgment and know that their karma is going to be their karma. They have to sit with the bed they've made and you sit with yours. And this is the only way that you guys can move forward with yourselves, okay, and have success. Because these are both cards of success here, being victorious. So although we feel like, you know, we haven't had success with the Six of Wands, which is only a minor arcana in the moment. So we lost sort of the, the battle, but we're going to win the war here. So spirit is talking about long-term with this chariot, major arcana, success, getting through a rough time, coming on the other side, integrating what we've learned, the difficult things so that we can ride, you know, balanced evenly out of whatever situation here. And I feel like by you being honest, by you sort of leaning into your karma is how you can move forward. But this starts with you sort of understanding your own self-worth. And so I feel like there is mirroring on both sides. There's transformation you need to do. There's letting go you needed to do. The sooner you do this, the sooner this person sort of learns their lesson as well. So I feel like, again, you might feel like you had a confidence blow or like you've lost out. But I feel like what you lost is sort of what you didn't need anyway. It was a false sort of self here with this, giving the ego death and connecting to your heart space, learning about unconditional love, seeing things for what they truly are here. That's the real victory here, okay? You don't want to struggle and, and have to fight for this person and compete for their attention with that three cups. Now, for a lot of you guys, it could be a third party, but some of you guys, is just something in their life that has their attention. And, you know, they, they haven't been able to pursue this connection. And it's been a struggle here for you, but you don't need to stay here. So I do feel as though, you know, love will set you free, but love of self. And know that this person did love you so if there's any question about their feelings which i don't think you question i think this is why it's challenging for you to go is because you know this person loves you and loves you you know and they do but there's something more intense here the bigger picture needing to come through and this is this person's lesson and and same with yours you know about self-love about releasing about transformation and facing our fears and the story isn't over because, like I said, we can only go to a certain point here. 
but I feel the tower is falling around them and they have to deal with this, whether they like it or not. Like that part is, that third party, that energy is coming to an end. It will no longer be there. It will no longer cause this conflict. And sometimes divine timing happens that way. It's like they have to resolve that because if you guys were to come together, this is what you would experience. You know, and you don't want to experience conflict. You want to experience a balanced union here. Okay, so page of coins, yeah, new beginning, a new practical beginning. Okay, so I feel like there will be an opportunity for you to have a new beginning. Okay, something that you can feel, touch, taste, smell here, something very solid. And look at the two bucks. Okay, pure. Two is giving me partnership, balance. That's, you know, or seeing eye to eye here from a pure place you know, equally balanced here, a new opportunity, but I feel like to get there, clean slate, purity, we have to close out any sort of conflicts in our life, and I feel the conflict is in this person's tower world, and you have your own things you need to battle, so unfortunately, you guys aren't coming together just yet, okay, pile number three, I hope this helped you, let me know in the comments, and I will see you soon, bye-bye. Hello, hello, beautiful, gorgeous angels, pile number four, you guys picked the yellow birdie, and the pink flowers and we're looking at the person on your mind and will this person be back are they coming back do they want re reconciliation what will happen if they come back so we're using the morgan greer tarot for your reading and it's very important here that you resonate with the energy check-in before we look at whether this person will be back so that you know if this is your pile okay so for this energy check i'm going to ask spirit how you will know if this is your connection. So this is going to be you sort of describing to me the connection, either as a whole or specifically maybe what's going on right now. Okay, so if you do resonate with either of that, however it comes out, because I don't know how it's going to come out, then this is indeed your pile. And sometimes the energy comes reversed. So I might say it's you, but it's your person's energy. And I might say it's your person, but it's you. And if that happens, crisscross them as you see fit but do not force any of the messages to fit your story, okay? Should be the overall essence of the pile that resonates, but there's a lot of viewers here, and so not every single message is going to be your message. So let's find out. Spirit for pile four, how will they know that this is indeed their pile? How will they describe this connection to me? How will they know that this is indeed their pile? Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 4 and this connection. And thank you so much, Pile 4, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm so blessed, so grateful to be here doing your reading. So we have King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Ten Pentacles. Wowzers. And pull out six cards or whatever spirit wants to give to us at this time okay and the bottom of the deck energy 10 cups oh my goodness you guys 10 pentacles and 10 cups let's pull some oracles as well spirit for pile number four in this connection how would they describe it how will they know that this is indeed their pile Clear and concise message here for the greatest and highest good of this connection and pile four. What do they need to know in regards to this connection so that they know whether this is resonating for them or not? I do feel one more holy kamoli. And what are these? Energy for this connection. You guys got a lot here okay so strength 38 leo energy coming through the energy or the frequency of strength supports our ability to harmonize all of our qualities and skills toward a strong and balanced way of being also feeling uh libra energy just with the, ba the balance and we have multi-dimensional 30 the frequency of multi-dimensionality activates our awareness of our true essence which is eternal and multi-dimensional. Ooh, I got the hiccups. Hopefully that goes away. Caution, anger. Hmm, okay. And we have eight, fearful heart. It's time to shine. 
fearful heart. That was certainly coming through with this. And eight is the strength card in the tarot, all about courage, facing our fears. Fearful heart. It's time to shine. More Leo energy. And we have peace. I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Well, eight is the number of movement. It's about change and attainment. Okay, and we have change right beside here. So change, attainment, movement. Eight is the strength, like I said, in the tarot. All about our courage. Not being held back, knowing when to move forward. And it's also the star in the tarot, which is Aquarius energy. All about um, following your north star, you know, our destined path. What we want for the future. Our future vision, our hopes, our desires. So we see ten cups, ten pentacles. This is ultimate utopian future here. Pentacle realm, which is the stability, practicality, you know, our legacy, building the family. Ten cups, emotional fulfillment, two families coming together, be emotionally fulfilled. King of pentacles, father energy, practicality, commitment, long-term stability, family. That's what I'm getting from here. You know, this is kids, family, building our home, our home life together. And here we have the four cups in reverse. So four cups is the boredom card or, you know, the cup where it could be unrequited love or we're not, we're not interested in, in receiving love here. And here in this depiction, here's three cups. And in a lot of the other tarot, the person is sort of more interested in the three cups than they are in the, the cup of the universe that's being offered the true love. But in this card, this person is looking at this cup, but not taking it necessarily. And so this is in reverse. Okay, so let's keep going. We have the sun, more Leo energy. Very strong Leo in this pile. Okay, but we do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well coming through. And we have ten swords. So we have two, three tens. Tens all about endings. Tens is completion. It's also end of cycle, and it's also transformation, which is this change. Okay, the lovers, Gemini energy, a decision, a destined partnership. And look at these two people. I was giving me lovers again. Partnership, balance. Sun is the most positive card. I can pull in the tarot, okay, because it, it highlights all the positivity around it. And it waters down any of the neg negativity or the shadow attributes in the cards here. So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this is sort of polar opposites here. We have clarity and understanding and this is a lack of clarity and understanding certainty and a, a lack of understanding here okay um sun can be ego this is divine masculine energy coming through and here we have judgment which is the opposite of this as well because judgment is seeing the truth sitting with something to see it clearly and look we have family here as well family coming through very strong here okay so let me sit here with this energy and tell you what, uh, what you're feeling and how you describe this connection to me. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay, pile number four. I feel like there has been an ending in this connection maybe several endings or attempts here that have been unsuccessful and i feel like the, un the unsuccessful in attaining some sort of solid future with this person because either this person wasn't committing or didn't really know or were certain whether they wanted a future here okay they didn't really choose this connection i feel like this person might have been sitting in a four cups you know, like this is where we're just not taking the cup that's being offered. So you might have felt like this person rejected you, wasn't open because of the fact that they weren't very clear and honest. But I feel like you understand and know that this connection here between you guys, oh, look at this three swords is peeking out the bottom. Yeah, so there's been hurt here, especially three swords, ten, ten swords. This is very, very painful. So I feel it's been a painful experience here, you sitting in this energy, because I feel like you see very clearly here this full full potential and i feel it's even beyond a ten cups and a ten pentacles if that's even possible like this is like over the moon happiness here okay because i feel like you see this great contentment to this joy and this potential here and i feel like this person was uncertain and didn't provide any of the clarity here 
didn't choose and so there was an option here to choose this this sort of path of happiness and practicality and commitment you know and i feel like um they didn't do this so they might have been here for some time but i feel like either or you guys are now at a point of judgment where it's like the truth is needing to come out one way or another here and so in order for the truth to come out we need to face your fear we need to understand that this connection is going to change and shift because if this person doesn't get clear it's going to change you're going to have to do what you need to do to make a choice here to move forward from an ending or from many attempts that didn't work because i feel like you want a long-term sort of plan and you want to be happy i mean who doesn't but i feel like you want you know partnership you want to choose your partner and you want to have equal reciprocity when it comes to partnership you want certainty you want a 10 cups and a 10 pentacles and i feel this person was offering you even more than this you know or at least you saw a vision of this potential with this person you saw them as you know potential husband material someone you could hit your star to here you know and i feel like right now there's this knowing that changes in the air and i feel like you want peace for this person and you want peace for yourself but i feel like you're not sure if um you know if if things will change in this connection with it's time to shine like will there actually be significant change here in this connection now that there's maybe time apart maybe this person has time to think maybe there's been a big change here in this connection so you're like okay well they're sitting here with some greater truth what action are they going to take you know based on this sitting idle and reflecting on what has happened here and i don't know some of you guys might have certainly wanted a child with this person or maybe you guys have um separate families here is what i'm feeling very family you know so i feel like you've been disappointed by this person and i feel like you've gone through the cycle of being angry or being upset and sort of both of you guys maybe not seeing eye to eye maybe being angry at each other but i feel like this is kind of coming through as water under the bridge but i feel like you're still very very cautious and you're cautious because this person hasn't been very clear with you, okay? But I feel like the bigger sort of thing here is you finding peace. Peace for yourself, peace for this person, making a change because I feel like you don't want to suffer anger. You don't want to suffer ten swords. You don't want to suffer three swords anymore, which I feel you have. Ooh, look at that. Now I'm pulling the hermit. <laughs> so three swords, which I feel you have, and this is you've reflected. You've done the sort of due diligence here. This is Virgo energy. This is us knowing thyself, knowing what we want. Here's the star again, Aquarius energy. And you knowing what you want. You know, your North Star, following what you want. And I feel like what you want, oh my gosh, these cards are just like falling from the bottom now, which isn't typically how I read the tarot. And here we have the devil, Capricorn. So Virgo, Capricorn energy. So earth, heavy earth. So I wouldn't be surprised if both you and your person are earth signs here with a heavy Leo presence here and also Gemini so devil okay so this could have been something that was very difficult to move on from you know like with the anger and the devil i feel like there's an intensity here because this is like red we're seeing red like we were really like passionately sort of pulled or uh, attached or obsessing here you know and so it's been having to really do the inner sort of reflecting here how to release ourselves from the devil you know and look this little star on this devil's head or whatever this demon's head thing is in this lantern so I feel like, I don't know, you've been guided to this person in some way or this connection, you know, but it's like you're, you're now, your guiding light here is how do I get out of devil energy? I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be stuck to this person. I don't want to be stuck to unhealthy things. I don't want to be stuck to anger. I don't want to be stuck. So I'm going to, you know, try to follow this light because devil in reverse, releasing ourselves from any constriction, you know, and feeling bound to something here that's unhealthy because i feel like there was something unhealthy here which was causing three swords someone's actions words intentions causing pain or lack thereof and i feel like what caused pain here is this person's not being clear or honest in regards to you know their certainty about the future what they want for the future here okay so i feel like you've shown a lot of courage and strength i feel like you're sitting in some sort of judgment um spot here knowing that the decision here is open to choose because you don't want to experience the 10 swords, you know, this much because you've already been there. So something has got to change. Okay. Something's really got to change, but I feel you are cautious because of your experience with this person. So I feel like things 
are definitely different with the change card and this multi-dimensionality. So maybe you're seeing things a little different. I feel like your true essence is certainly coming through here because I feel like you are more leaning into what you want. You've done the hermit work, you know, and you're sort of leaning into that a little bit more. You've already experienced heartbreak, but I feel like there is some fear here in not knowing whether this person is, is going to make a decision here because I feel like a very, very strong, strong energy with the 10 pentacles, sun and the 10 cups. Like this is beyond ultimate fulfillment all around here. So this would be a difficult thing to detach from if we saw this potential and we might have experienced some of this with this person at one point, you know, and then maybe it got taken away or maybe this person got cold feet or it just came to an end. And we're now like, what the hell? Like, you know, is this going to be an option again? But I don't want to experience what I experienced in the past because it was very painful. So I'm cautious. Okay, so if this sounds like your energy or how you would describe this connection, we're now going to take a look at whether this person is going to come back. You know, if they come back, what is their intention? Do they want reconciliation? What sort of energy are they going to come back with if they do come back? So, spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of beautiful pile number four on their person. Will pile four's person come back? Will they be back? And will they want a reconciliation? What sort of energy will they be in if they come back? Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile number four spirits. Thank you so much for this blessed message. We are so grateful. Will pile four's person come back? Will they return? Thank you, spirits. I'm being called to cut the deck again. Nine pentacles in reverse. Lovers again, Gemini energy. Clarified by the tower in reverse. Wow. Okay. Seven pentacles in reverse, seven cups in reverse, two sevens. Seven's all about faith, wisdom, reflection, understanding. Seven's also the chariot and the tower and the tarot. And here we have the tower, page of rods. That's communication. That's the page of wands. Wow. And this one, jumpy, jumpy, hermit. Coming out again, Virgo energy. And we have the knight of cups at the bottom. So we have Magician, Virgo, and uh, Gemini energy. Wow, Gemini, Virgo coming through very strong in this reading. Moon, Cancer, Pisces, and Three Swords in reverse. Under the Knight of Cups, we have Eight Cups. So let's pull some oracles as well. Will Pile Force person come back? Will they be back, Spirit? And what will their energy be like? What does Pile Four need to know about this person's return? Or whether they will return? do two more oracle packs here uh, pile force person are they coming back holy jumpy very jumpy these cards i feel this person um is quite sporadic like they'll get an idea and they'll just like sort of take action so it might be sort of a last minute, like they might be leaning, leaning, leaning one way and then all of a sudden have a complete change of heart and just take action. Or like, you know, indecisive, 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 and then just do it anyway. Kind of like ripping off a band-aid. I just heard uh, like pulling out a tooth, you know, like uh, see the fear and do it anyway. Like when you're six years old and your parent pulls your tooth out and you're kind of anticipating it. Or eight or however old you are when your teeth pull out. Okay, so we have movement. Yeah. That's that energy I was feeling. This is uh, eight wands type energy, forward movement, self-esteem, integrity, 25 or number seven. I feel like I've had like 10 cups of coffee all of a sudden. I'm getting like this, um, I was going to say rage, um, intense energy flowing through me. 
well. Okay. The energy of integrity supports our choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided in by high moral standards. Yes. Okay. And then we have nine. Deep heart. Believe in divine destiny. Nine is hermit energy. Virgo. Okay. So let's see. And here's nine as well. So nine's about fruition, completion, fulfillment. Okay, um, eight cups, like I said, and the star under that Aquarius energy. Okay, will this person be back? Yes, I do feel this person is going to come back here, okay? And I feel like what the energy is showing here is here is somebody here who is lacking in confidence, who wasn't making themselves available because I feel like they weren't confident in their ability to show up, to be in a energy of providing. So they didn't make themselves available. They kept things very confusing. They might have been confused themselves because it's like, I can't give to this connection. So they might have not have even tried, gave up before they even got started, didn't make themselves available. Okay. And so I feel like they had a choice, but when we lack confidence and self-esteem we, we feel like we can't take that chance or whatever so i feel like this tower is then sort of i don't know waiting for the choice to sort of evolve on its own like not taking action at first and i feel like it's it's going to lead to them either you know having to deal with the falling of a tower a false sort of thing that they peg themselves to, which is a lack of self-confidence. I can't make things happen. It has to stay here. So either you already told this person that you are no longer going to be available, or they feel as though at some point this option will be a point to take action on, you know, but right now it's not on fire. So it's almost like this, um, what's that energy? Uh, um, procrastination is coming through. So they procrastinate because the building's not on fire. They anticipate it will be on fire eventually, which is they will have to act. They will have to choose this connection. They will have to make a decision. Okay, and I say have to choose the connection. They don't have to choose it, but they feel as though when the time comes, when things fall apart and fall apart as in their push, when push comes to shove and they have to make a decision, that they will choose this connection. Like there's no doubt in their mind, but it's like, it's not on fire yet. I don't need to go just yet, you know, and it's like, because I still can work on my self-confidence and still not co confident that if I step up here now, it's like, you know, when you, um, I don't know, like I'm getting the analogy, like you're on stage or like you've got to perform and it's like, if you don't have to perform, you're not, but you know, and when you're on some sort of presentation and it's your turn, like, and they say, Hey, like, and they put you on stage, like you have no choice but to perform. I feel like this person's behind the curtain. It's not their time to perform or they don't feel like they are there just yet. So why would they just go out of their own volition? Okay, I don't feel like this person thinks that they could, like, be confident and manifest what it is that they're needing to manifest here. Like, they don't know how they do this, but I feel like this person understands that this could certainly be the cause of the strife here in this connection. And I feel like this person also understands that there is um a need to face the music okay there's this curtain like i'm getting the curtain the concert the music like i don't know is this person a performer potentially but i feel like there's this then i'd have to deal with the feelings that kind of come through here you know like so there's like a, a procrastination is kind of what i feel and so i feel like this person is delaying this sort of um move or this action but i feel like when it's time for them to act when they feel like okay i have to act i have no choice but i gotta go then they're going to take forward movement here and they're going to express their their love here with this knight of cups this is showing one's affection you know coming forward then then it's time to leave whatever here is emotionally unsatisfying because right now i feel like they're emotionally dissatisfied because they're sitting here with a lack of self-confidence they're sitting here knowing that there's something very divine about this connection. It taps into their heart space here that there's an option here to be had, but the only thing sort of holding them back is them. And so there's this feeling like a, a fake, 
you know, like this high moral standards and being guided by your honesty. It's like this person isn't really supporting their honest self by thinking that they're not capable or not good enough or put the energy towards what they want, knowing that there's something that connects to them. And so in order to do this, like this person's going to have to sort of really dive into their fear and really look at their subconscious. Why do they feel they can't manifest? You know, and I feel it's stemming from some heart block here, some pain that they've experienced that they haven't yet processed. Pain in the past, you know, painful relationships, not necessarily lovers, but just pain from the past, disappointments from the past. And so it's it's taken a toll on their self-confidence. It's like I'm not good enough or capable or confident enough to make myself here standing available to pile number four. And so we need to look at our fear and then they know like then that means I'm opening this can of worms and I got to deal with my heartache and it's like the building's still not on fire. So I'm still kind of just holding up this tower. I don't really need to choose just yet, you know, but what I do, it's like, then I know I have to be on this journey. Then I know I have to look at things or then I know like that pile four is sort of my guiding light and my wish for the future here. But I mean, it's just like when we have a future wish, but we keep prolonging it to the future, you know, but it's like if this person was having to be forced sort of to make a choice like they know that they want forward movement they know where they'd be guided which is towards this connection in their heart space which is expressing to you their love because i feel this person feels a lot of love here for you it's their own self getting in the way their own confidence getting in the way you know but i feel it's a deep 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 love here believe in divine destiny yeah like you guys were sort of destined here even with the star about destiny you know this connection is destined for them that they are on this path but it's like, as long as they could sit here behind the curtain and not need to perform, then why not, right? But I think they want to explore with this page of wands. Like their inner child, I feel, is coming through here with something that is passionately wanting to explore. But it's like, I kind of don't know just yet if which way I would go. And yeah, I feel like there's this sporadic decision to do so when they do do this, okay? And I don't know... But yeah, that's like this. It's like at any point, this tower is going to fall. It's a sudden movement. You know, sudden. I feel like there's something very sudden about when they choose this. Like it just comes kind of sudden. And I don't know whether they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You know, but I think it's just this delaying because of the way they feel about themselves. So we have Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's slow energy. We're getting a deeper layer here. What Pile 4 needs to know about whether their person will be back. Spirit, a deeper layer, a deeper understanding for Pile 4, what they need to know in regards to whether their person will be back, will want reconciliation, what will they want when they come back. Can we get a deeper look at this connection, Spirit, in regards to this person coming back? Please and thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, reconciliation through cups. They'll definitely be back here. Okay, so what do we have? We have the Knight of Wands. So we have the Page of Wands, then we have the Knight of Wands. So we do have a, a progression here, which is great because we go from a page to a knight. Okay, and another knight here. So things definitely stuck. And I feel like it's in the practical realm, you know, of actually having to take practical action here. There's like a stalling of this. The world yeah we're, we're delaying closing something out so it's like i know that i can't sit in my you know in the energy that i'm in for much longer i know i need to close out this chapter and i feel like this person hasn't yet done this in order to start anew we have to close the old and they're kind of stalled here right now okay but i do feel there is this reconciliation this coming together this like i said expressing with the knight of cups how they feel wanting to come together having forward movement here towards what they want, which is this connection. So here's the moon, this is the fear, having to lean into the fear, uncertainty, and um, this is our subconscious, strength, this is holding ourselves back, needing to face our courage, Leo energy, Pisces, Cancer, and here's the high priestess, Pisces energy. So we have the moon and the high priestess. So there's a lot here that this person can't see okay and i feel like they can't see because they're not allowing themselves to sort of let go of whatever they're sort of the energy that they're in here so they're sort of stuck in this sort of lack of courage and 
lack of um, facing forward. It's like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm face, I, I have to face my fear here and I don't see up ahead. So I'm kind of staying put here. You know, I'm staying put here until this fear subsides. But I feel like there's this energy that keeps popping through as they can only sit here so long and say, okay, screw it. I'm just going to see what happens. You know, this is this Knight Wands energy. It's like, act now, think later. Like, I'm just going to take action. Whatever happens sort of happens. You know, I got to kind of go after what it is that I want. And what I want here is a three cups. I want to have a, a togetherness with my person. Because if I sit here in the moonlight, not knowing, held back, not facing my courage, I'll never know. I'll never know. And I'm not listening to my intuition, which I feel I already know is the divine destiny here. So if I sit here stalled, stuck, nothing will manifest. Okay. And here we have the page cups. Yeah, this is an apology. And this is again, communication, opening our heart space and the two wands. So I feel like this person feels as though it's like right now I don't really have a choice to do this because the, the cho I'm not at the crossroads just yet and that I was getting from the lovers, a choice, because the tower still hasn't fully fall away, you know, and, and if the tower still isn't on fire and making me have to choose, then I kind of sit here stalling out, okay, but at some certain point, I'm just going to have enough of sitting in the unknown, sitting here where I'm not deciding, sitting here in this sort of energy where... I have to come forward and apologize to pile number four and see if they want to reconcile. And this will be something I feel very sporadic and very sort of sudden. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, and when this person feels like maybe you're, I don't know, like no longer wanting to maybe give them love, you know, if they feel your love's removed for long enough, it's like this person doesn't want to experience you pulled away here. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel like you have a lot of love here for your person and they sense it, but it's like, how long do they sit here stuck, you know, without you sort of engaged in their world? Not very long. It's like then a certain point, they're just going to be like, screw it. Like I have to take action. So I feel like we do need just a little bit more here, you know, in regards to this person, like we see the stuckness, but when they do take action, it's going to be this sort of thing. I feel like they just suddenly say screw it is kind of what I feel like despite the fear despite the lack of confidence it's like deep down there's this energy that just makes them act so let's see this eight of wands energy I'm feeling this sporadic movement can we see some more behind this for pile number four how will they know when this this is happening what more do they need to know in regards to their person's decision to take action and reconcile Transformation, Scorpio energy, the chariot, Cancer energy, and temperance, Sagittarius energy. And we have the king of cups. I don't read that bottom of the deck reverse. And under that, we have king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So spirit is showing. This person has to make major changes in regards to themselves. And I feel like it's a big area about self-confidence. Nine pentacles, like feeling secure in themselves, feeling confident about themselves being able to take action on their, how they feel, because I feel like there's love here and they see you as their counterparts. You know, you're the queen of cups as far as they're concerned and our king cups. So there's lots of deep love here, but it's like the king of cups on his own doesn't know how to sort of take action on his emotions. He has to lean into his confidence. And I feel like this confidence is going to come with transformation and over time. So this person is working on integrating. Okay. This is all about integrating our shadow, our lack of self-confidence into who they are so that they can be successful and move forward and have movement because right now they're reverse pentacles or reverse knight of pentacles chariot is forward movement they're stuck here you need to integrate and so that they can show up in a balanced energy in order to collaborate with you to alchemize the situation to create something you need to have two sort of sides of the equation being cohesive and i feel like this person is not balanced not balanced because if they're sort of lacking self-esteem and confidence and in an energy that's not workable, what can you guys create? Nothing. So I feel like this person is in this energy and spirit is saying when they have this desire to move forward, it's because they have this um, shift in how they see themselves, how they can take action on their feelings, that their love is going to drive them to make this sort of action. Okay, that the love is sort of the driver here to give this person the confidence in order to move forward. Because 
this is what's going to drive this change in this person to make the change that's needed in this connection so that the old cycle falls away the death so that the new the new cycle begins which is the world which we saw in reverse because in order for the world to close out we have to accept some sort of transformation the death releasing the old so that the new can be birthed and i feel the new is forward movement balance harmony being in a new energy and i feel like it's it's not necessarily there just yet until this person sort of just says okay well this change will only come when i lean into my feelings when i take action on this you know then i'm then i'm transforming as i'm taking action yeah so it's this this feeling like this seven swords this is um you know, feeling almost like they're not letting you into this world of lack of self-confidence and like trying to do it on their own, trying to figure it on their own. And so this is causing the indecision and it's causing the five swords. So they're indecisive. They're not showing. And the five swords in this connection is causing the conflict. So it's like, I can't stay in this sort of state. Uh, you know, I have to be confident that my feelings and my love are going to drive forward movement here. And that. Yeah, it is sort of deceitful when I'm not being clear and honest or making a decision here. It isn't an energy that's workable. And I feel like they understand this on an intuitive level. And so this is what needs to shift and change. And this is what this person is sort of going to be working on. You know, this is, again, integrity, seven swords. It's like, unless I could be clear, which is by choosing this decision, then I'm not being integral. I'm just sort of... I don't know, I'm sort of staying in an energy here that isn't really helping, isn't really allowing things to move forward, isn't really workable, isn't providing balance. And so this is the massive change that's happening in this person's world, a spiritual change, okay? So, pile four, this was your reading. Let me know in the comments if this resonated for you, and I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.